Hi, good day and welcome to another Mr. James Accounting Tutorial. Today we'll be looking at part 5 of the Capital Budgeting, Accounting Rate of Return. The Accounting Rate of Return, ARR Method of Capital Budgeting. The accounting rate of return method. This measures the average annual rate of return over the assets life. It focuses on the operating income, not the net cash inflow that an asset generates. Okay, so the AR is the average annual operating income from the asset divided by the initial investment now in, in most questions that you would get you would not be given the annual operating income but you would rather you would be given cash flows if that is the case then what you would do is you will minus the annual depreciation expense from the cash flows to get the annual operating income from the asset and then you would divide it by the initial investment and you would express that as a percentage by multiplying by 100 you would get the accounting rate of return the decision table again if the expected accounting rate of return exceed the required rate of return you would invest and if the expected accounting rate of return is less than the required rate of return do not invest okay uh, the required rate of return here is the usually the cost of capital or the company may have a rate of return that is expect that is what you will compare the accounting rate of return with okay now it does not really matter in this question whether you have unequal cash flows or net cash flows the method is the same so here we have an example how we will go about it let's assume that we are buying some new production equipment that costs 240,000, but it had unequal net cash inflows during its life as shown below and it's 30,000 residual value at the end of the life compute the average annual cash flows so to do that you would just add all of them up and divide it by the number of years right so we get 360,000 when we add it up we divide by six years we get 60,000 average annual cash flow right so you have you will find the average uh, if it's an annuity then you wouldn't have to find the average because the average would be same as the annuity okay so the method itself would still be the same then we can compute the annual depreciation expense this is one of those questions where you are given the cash flows and you need to find the operating expense by minusing the depreciation so the depreciation is 30,000 per annum so it will be 240,000 minus 30,000 over 6 is equal to 35 in the depreciation sorry the residual value is 30,000 not the um, I just said the depreciation so it will be 2 for 40,000 minus 30,000 minus the residual value divided by 6 we get 35,000 depreciation expense so to compute the ARR we have 60,000 in cash flow let me calculate it here the average cash flow 
and we will minus 25,000 and we we'll divide it by the 4,000 when we multiply by 100 we will get 10.42 percent okay, so this now will be compared with the company's expected or the company's rate of return yeah so this is the ARR and we compare it with what the company normally accepts the comparison of capital budgeting model accounting rate of return only method that uses accrual accounting that is why we have to use uh, minus depreciation if we are using cash flows to change it from a from cash basis of accounting to a cruel basis of accounting. The advantages choose how investment will affect operating income and measures profitability to asset as of asset over its entire life. Okay, so this takes into consideration the entire life of the project and it shows investment will affect operating and income, not the cash flow. This, the disadvantage is it ignores the time value of money. Valuation of the accountant rate of return method does not focus on cash flows, rather it focuses on accounting net operating income. The following formula is used to calculate a simple rate of return, simple rate annual incremental net operating income over initial investment. Okay, so this is more or less the same formula. That should be reduced by any salvage value from the sale of the old equipment.